Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Predator Concrete Jungle Deluxe Stoneheart Predator, which is one of the cooler things they've released, I think. I never played the game. I guess it's a pretty fun game if you're a Predator fan, but it does give us some cool designs. We got one figure from it before, and now we have this one. This one's a big one, so there's a little bit to talk about. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. All right, this guy is on the Assassin, the bigger Predator body. So he's about 29 centimeters tall, and that's gonna make him roughly, yeah, we'll call it 11 and a quarter inches. Here he is up against Darwin for a height comparison. This guy comes in, I think it's 62, 62.99, something like that. So it is a little bit expensive, but considering some Marvel Legends are in the 33, something around their price point, I mean, you get two Marvel Legends or this, for the same amount of money, I don't know. You guys can make your own value judgment there, but obviously there's a lot going on here. And if you're wondering why it looks so blue here, this one doesn't look as blue right now. And right here, it's because it actually lights up. It has two separate power sources that make him light up, and that's pretty cool. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first, the reason that goes out, I'll talk about in a second also. Uh, but first, let's do a quick question of the day. How do you feel about a predator with no predlocks? To me, I get what they're going for and it's still kind of cool, but I think, I don't know, there's something about it that just doesn't work. Obviously they're they're shorn, but uh, I want some dreadlocks on there. So I don't know, it doesn't obviously take away too much from the character design, but it is an issue. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about that battery situation real quick. First of all, he has the lights in his head. You get three batteries or you don't, there are batteries in there and there's a little pull tab to get it going. Um, and so there's a switch to turn off or on the head and those glow and they are colored if you're not if they're not lit up goodness uh so they still look fine when they're not glowing same thing for the chest and back here is where the chest one is i just have this sitting in here so the problem is my batteries don't make good contact so i think what happened is maybe the the spring is not as tight on this one or maybe i just have a dud of a battery but if yours isn't lighting up properly it lights up back here and on the chest just give the batteries a little jiggle and then you will get your chest to light up and your uh, little turbine thingies in the back. But we're gonna leave that off for now because it doesn't need to be on. Okay, so aesthetically speaking, it is largely the Assassin Predator. Obviously you can see there are lots of new parts added to him and that's pretty cool. And the paint job is pretty good. The only thing that I have a problem with is the shading. Uh, obviously we just have some kind of heavy gray lines that aren't really feathered in too much. And I'm pretty sure those are just meant to be shading. Like up here, maybe not. Maybe it's meant to look more like veins. Same thing in some spots here. But then in other spots, it's most definitely meant to go in the crevices between the muscles, but most notably right here. So that doesn't look great. Uh, that definitely could be better, but there is a nice bit of coloration with some uh, dry brushing and washes and stuff going on. You can see where they've done his implants. There's a little bit of like a purpley red color going on all the way around looks pretty good. And then you can see again more of the shading that's not quite where it should be. But ultimately it does look really good. There's some nice detail work going on in the, the armor pieces if you want to call it that. We have the blue on the knee pads and on the waist. Mine's got a little bit of a weird thing going on right here, but whatever. Decent, decent work all the way around. It looks pretty good. And then of course the face. Let me move the camera a little bit. They did a really good job with the face. The eyes are pretty good. Not perfect. This one eye is slightly googly, but not super noticeable. So that's all right. Very, very well detailed. Maybe a little bit better in that gray shading here and there, but it looks nice. So aesthetically speaking, I'm very pleased with it. I'll give it a, um, a nine out of 10. Definitely could be better with the shading, but you're getting a whole lot that looks really good. And then the light up feature is a, a very, very nice touch. As far as accessories go, you do get the gauntlet blades, two for each side. They pop off relatively easily, but I guess that's good so they don't break. They're not just gonna fall off on their own, so, so that's fine. You get the two open hands that come on them in the package, then you get two fist hands. And then you also get some interchangeable mandible pieces. So you get the closed ones or the open ones and they swap out fairly easily. They look really good. 
And to go with that, of course, you do get the hinged inner jaw. That's it for accessories. Not a ton, but I think that's fine. Like, he doesn't need anything else. The open and closed mouth is a good option. I love that. And then, of course, open and closed hands give you the two looks you need. I don't think you need anything more for this particular design. So that's very good. It is very accurate to the source material. So I think you're going to be all set. So I'll go 9 out of 10 for the accessories. There's just no need for anything else. All right. Now let's talk about the articulation because this base body was cool but problematic the last couple times we've seen it let's see how it works now we definitely have some ball pegs going on up at the top looks up and down very nicely you can see the inner jaw opens and closes no problem at all there looks side to side no problem a little bit of lean you're gonna have really no problem posing this guy it's gonna look good man this is a nice looking figure it's a shame i didn't get it before the uh top 10 list went out shoulders not too tight, but they do have some ratcheting in there, so they get up to just about horizontal. And then you're going to get your rotation, no problem there. No bicep swivel on this design. You're going to get your bicep swivel out of the elbow, which is a double jointed elbow. So your hinge, that's one hinge, gets you 90 degrees. These fat gauntlets probably are going to get in the way. But using two hinges, you can basically still just get 90 degrees. Nothing they can do about that. But because of that double jointed elbow, you get the swivel here for the bicep swivel, and you can rotate the gauntlet. So that'll be fine. And then of course the wrists have a swivel because they peg in and you have the hinge there, which isn't gonna do much due to the gauntlet, but it is there. Diaphragm joint on this guy. It's not the best thing in the world, but it does lean back pretty nicely. It leans forward pretty nicely. Like it's a it's a really good diaphragm joint. I think you could have been better off if they just went a little bit low, less far down. <laughs> I can't speak. I'm on so much medicine right now. I have some kind of crazy sinus infection. Anyway, if there was a little bit less right here on the rib cage, you could get a little bit better range, but that's a damn good diaphragm joint regardless of that. So I like that a whole bunch. For the waist, I think it's supposed to just be a twist, but I can't even get mine to twist. So I don't know, that's stuck. I'm not going to really worry about it too much because I'm going to be able to pose him on this enough. But yeah, it probably should pose a little at the waist. These are nice and flexible, no problem there. For the hips, they ratchet forward. This is soft, but it's fairly thick. So you're not going to get that much range going forward. Going back, you get pretty decent range. That's okay. Going out to the side, again, ratchets. He's way easier to pose than the uh, first couple of releases. No problems at all there. Thigh swivel is fine. Uh, double jointed knee. We have the swivel hinge at the top, basic hinge at the bottom. You're not going to really need that swivel, but it's there. But plenty of range. No problem at all there. And if you do want to rotate it, you can. Again, you probably won't want to. But no problems there. And then the ankles, they are ratcheted. They're tight enough, I would say. It's not super tight. Um, definitely closer to loose than tight, which is a good thing because the first one was too tight, way too tight. But you get your ankle rocker and it'll pose well, like no real problems posing this guy. So I'm very pleased with that. They seem to have retooled the joints enough to make it work just the way it was supposed to initially. So articulation wise, for a guy like this, it's pretty darn good. I'll go nine out of 10. I don't really see any huge problems other than, I don't know, you might want to trim some of this plastic if you want to get a little bit of extra range, but I don't know if it's necessary. Yeah, maybe eight because his hips are somewhat limited, but otherwise it's pretty darn good. I'm very satisfied with this release. They've done a nice job, which is no surprise. NECA tends to deliver on the Predators and this one is no different. So I'm going to give it an overall rating. I'm going to go nine out of 10. Yeah, there's room for improvement with the shading and maybe a little bit in the hips for the articulation, but it's a really nice looking figure. It's going to look great on the shelf. It has the light up feature, cool enough paint job. It's going to have some shelf presence and I don't feel at all like you're not getting your money's worth for this release. So yeah, I like it. I think you guys will too. There it is. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.